Hallelujah. We wadani umekuja umeletwa. Niaba ya familia ya mama mwanzilishi na mtumishi wa Mungu nawaambia karibuni katika makao makuu ya Miracle Revival Fellowship Pentecostal Church. Wajua nina furaha namna gani? Maana ya sasa naenda kumsikiliza mtumishi wa Mungu. Yeye aliyepakwa mafuta kwa ajili yangu. Ndio maana unaniona na furaha kwa heshima mtumishi wa Mungu na kuomba karibu kaweze kutuhudumia kama Mungu amewezesha alivyokupa. Karibu sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Haya yeah. tuka, tukae ndugu zangu. We sit down. Kwa hivyo hatuko hapa kikawaida. So we are not here ordinarily. Ah ah. No. Si kama tunapoteza wakati. We are not wasting time. Tuko hapa. We are here. Kulisikiana na Mungu. To hear the word of God. Na kukaa katika hilo. And to dwell in that word of God. Na kupata haja za mioyo yetu. So that we get all our desires. Na yeye Mungu ndiye aliyesema and it's God who said nitafuteni mtaniona you seek me and you find me lazima atafutae aende pande ile aende pande ile then anybody who is seeking must go this side and that side sasa leo uko upande huu wa mariakani so today you are the side of mariakani onyesha unamtafuta Mungu na utamuona showing that you are seeking God and you'll find him Hebu tusome kitabu cha Yeremia. Let us read from the book of Jeremiah. Mungu anataka God wants tuingie katika mazuri. That we enter into the good. Neno fupi tu. A very short message. Ukikubali Mungu atafanya kazi. If you agree and accept God is Uki, going to work. Ukisadiki Mungu atatenda kazi. If you believe God is going to do the work. Mungu si Mungu wa mabaya. God is not God of evil. Mungu ni Mungu wa mema. God is God of good things. Tayarisha moyo wako. So prepare your heart. Tayarisha mawazo yako. Prepare your ideas. Mungu yuko tayari. And God is very much ready. Yeremia. Jeremiah. Sh- 29 mlango. Chapter 29. Stara wa 11 verse 11 Maana anayajua mawazo nayo wawazia ninyi asema bwana ni mawazo ya amani wala si mabaya kuwapa ninyi tumaini siku zenu za mwisho For I know the thoughts that I think towards you say the Lord thoughts of peace and not evil to give you an expected end Aya yeye mwenyewe anasema Okay he's now saying Mawazo ninayo wawazia nyinyi The thoughts that I think nyinyi about Nyinyi sote hapa We all who are here Jioni ya leo Today evening Kama una shida gani una shida gani Whatever problem that you may have Mungu anasema God is saying Mimi na wawazia mazuri I'm thinking good of you Si leo tu Not today alone Hata siku sijazo Even the coming day Mungu na maisha mazuri That you have some good life Wenye matumaini ya mema People who are expecting good Sasa kataa mawazo ya pepo Then refuse the ideas of the yakatae kabisa you refuse them haya okay kuna pastor hapa there is a pastor here anataka mazuri hayaoni he wants the good things but not seeing them akaja akashuhudiwa na mama mwanzilishi then she was justified too by the founder mother nenda ukatulie go and become paka nyumbani so she went up to his home haya kaka hana chochote he stayed there he had nothing complete nothing lakini mungu anamuwasia mazuri but then god was thinking good of him leo hakosi gari mbili and today he has two cars anash he has two cars today yameni tunawaziwa mazuri na mungu my dear god is thinking good of all of us wengine Sana maybe when you are in problem the thoughts of many people are these anaita watoto wake is calling his children haya mkae salama okay bidding them farewell msio watu wako chokozana chokozana do not be provoking people na nikifa unaona ile chuguu ile and if i die you think that dung hill there and you mtanisika hapa you are going to bury me there na ile ngombe utachinja siku ya mboga and that cow you slaughter it bani huyo ni yesu huyo anazungumza hayo is that jesus thinking about that Kini mawazo mabaya hai. That is your evil thinking. Hata hata anaaga. Hata mimi siku moja niliaga. He's bidding farewell. I did it one day. Mimi nami niliaga. I did. Nilikuwa mgonjo hapo kwangu hapo. I was very sick at home there. Hata nikaona imekuwa dunia imekuwa yellow. And in fact the word I was seeing the word becoming yellow. Si nimefika mwisho mimi. So I've come to an end now. Nikamwambia dada sasa wewe ukae na amani na watoto. I told my wife bidding you farewell stay well Akasamu, but she told me don't say that kitu then i felt something was moving out and that was death leo tuko na nyinyi hapa and today i'm together with you here
Kabisa? Sure. Kwa hivyo naweza ukazungumziwa kifo na unakubali. So maybe death can be spoken to you and you agree. Tukatae, tukatae, tukatae na kuendelea. Let us refuse, let us refuse, let us refuse. Mungu anatuwazia mazuri. God thinks good of all of us. Kijana tulia. Young man be calm. Mungu anakuwazia mazuri. God thinks good of you. Msichana tulia. A girl be calm. Mungu anatuwazia mazuri. God is thinking good of you. Unafanya biashara. You are doing a business. Haiendi kama vile utakavyo. And it's not progressing the way you want. Tulia. Be calm. Mungu anatuwazia mazuri. God is thinking good Utakuwa of you. Utakuwa na biashara kubwa. You will have a very big business. Mawazo. Mawazo. You are thinking Soma Yohana. You read the book of John. Yohana 11. John 11. Mungu anatafuta. God is seeking. Hata hayo maneno anayozungumza roho wa Mungu. Even the word the, the spirit of God is speaking. Hakika ni sisi sote tulio hapa. Surely sorrow of us were here. Tukimaliza mkutano mnarudi nyumbani. At the end of the crusade when you are going home. Umejibandika yale mema katika vitu vyenu na rohoni. You have carried the good things on your head and in your side your heart. Mawazo mema. Good thinking. Mawazo mema. Good thinking. Mungu anatutamania mawazo mazuri. God covered some good thinking of us. Usio watu wa kukata tamaa. Do not be people who are fainting. Hata kama kuna shida. Even if there is a problem. Soma Yeremia wakati wa wote. You read the book of Jeremiah at all Inakwambia, times. Inakwambia. He says. Mawazo na yao wazia nyinyi ni mazuri. The thoughts that I think about you are always Baezi, good. Kwa hivyo kuna mawazo mazuri kwenu nyinyi jioni ya leo na so, kuendelea. God has good thoughts about you today and continue. Kumina moja John chapter 11 Sitari wa 20 mpaka 21 Chapter 20 to 21 Kitabu cha Yohana The book of John Mlango 11 Chapter 11 20 mpaka 21 Verse 20 to 21 Basi Martha aliposikia kwamba Yesu anakuja alikwenda kumlaki na Mariamu alikuwa akikaa nyumbani Basi Martha akamwambia Yesu Bwana kama ungalikuwapo hapa ndugu yangu hangalikufa Then Martha as soon as he heard that Jesus was coming went out and met him but Mary sat still in the house Then said Martha unto Jesus Lord if thou hadst been here my brother had not died Sasa watu wengi so many people hawatoki kwa shida do not come out of problems mana hawana matumaini because they do not have the hope na tena hatafuti and is not looking for that ni kama sisi wahubiri it is for like us preachers shetani tuliambiwa tumfukuze we were taught to cast the devil out lakini hatutegemei sana hilo but then we don't depend on that unaweza very much. kuona napiga nduru hapo shetani if you find the devil maybe yelling kesho tomorrow anakula tumbako he's taking snuff si ni ile wajana huyo But this man is, is that one of yesterday. Yes, Jesus told us this. Do not rejoice because the devil has Akasema gone away. He said I saw the devil descending again like lightning. Like you say, ah, But then you are saying ah, they all went ah, away. There isn't even one remaining. Kumbe ameteremka kama vile unavyoona mwanajeshi anateremka na na ile umbrella and he has descended like the way you see soldiers descending with the parachute sasa anaangalia mwenye mawazo mabaya he is looking at those people who have some evil thinking okay he says okay that there is one here mawazo ya kula tumbaku let me put the ideas of eating snuff hai okay unaona unaenda kula na wanajificha ficha huko and you find yourself going to eat and hide yourself there eh yeah sasa kuna watu wanasumbuka hata leo hapa So there are people who are being persecuted even today here. Wengine wanakula udongo. Some are eating mud or soy. Who udongo who? This mud. Una mahala una uchimba unaweka nguoni unaenda ukila. There is a place you dig it put it in your basket and carry. So mekatishwa tamaa because you have you have no hope again. Tuliambiwa tule vitamu. We were told to eat the sweet. Halafu tupeleke wengine. And take to some other people. Sijaona mtu mimi na gunia la mchanga anaenda kubariki mtu. And I haven't seen anybody with a bag of soil to bless another Hata person. Hata mwenye kukula hataki ajulikane. Even the one who is eating soil does not want to be known. Tuliagizwa tule kilicho kitamu. We were instructed to eat whatever is sweet. Amen. I Amen. Mungu ni waajabu ndugu sana. God is so wonderful. Neno moja hili. One word only. Mungu anatuwazia mazuri. God is thinking good of us. Kama hujui hilo, if you don't know that, ndio mtu anakata tamaa. That's why you lose hope. Anakata tamaa. You lose hope. 
I don't know what will happen. Kumbe hujui. It's because you don't know. Haya Mungu mwenyewe Mungu mwenyewe amekuambia jioni ya leo. Okay, God is self is telling you today evening. Anasema mimi Mungu. He's saying I as God. Eh? Yeah. Na wawasia mazuri nyinyi. I'm thinking good of all of you. Si mabaya. Not bad things. Kuanzia sasa na siku zijazo. Beginning today and the days to come. Na wewe siku zijazo unasema utakufa masikini. And the days to come you are saying you are dying poor. Hayo umepitana na Mungu vile alivyosema. Okay, you are against God the way he saying. Mwambie. You tell him. Hakuna tajiri duniani kama mimi we shetani. There isn't a rich person in the world like me, you devil. Na huna na huna hata mbuzi and you have no even a single god. Huna hata mbuzi. You don't have even a Lakin single god. Lakini unasema but then you are saying tajiri wa eh area hii yote hii. A very rich man in this area. Wa kwanza na wa mwisho ni mimi. The first one and the last one is me. Na huna hata kuku. And you don't have even a chick. Kumbe unapendeza Mungu. And that way you are pleasing God. Na Mungu anasema and God is also saying ndio mawazo ninayowazia. Okay these are the I, the thoughts and think about you. Unaamini kijana nitafunga ndoa yangu? Do you believe a young man you will be never be married? Hivyo, hivyo. And a girl also should believe the Hayo same way. Mazuri. Those are now good thoughts. And God is thinking about Nandiyo you also. Mutapokea hayo, hayo. And exactly that will come to pass. I am man, Lazarus alifufuliwa. Okay, Lazarus was resurrected. Kulikuwa kuna mtu hapa na matumaini. Because there was someone here with some hope. Hata anafarijiwa amekaa nyumbani. He's she's been comforted seated at home. Lakini anasema, but then she said, ndugu yangu amekufa huyu. My brother has died here. Kama Yesu angelikuwepo huyu angekufa. If Jesus was here, my brother Unaona matumaini hayo? You see that hope. Ni kitu gani kwako kimekufa? Then what is it that is dead in you? Ni shida gani imekulemea? What problem is is lying on you hata huna maombi ya utulivu to an extent you have no una prayers of come kusabana, kusabana, tayari. you are touching here and there and in stand up uh -huh. no matumaini yuko na muna someone who has no hope is that way oh hallelujah hallelujah dugu zangu my brothers yesu anatuambia saa hii jesus is telling us hata tuko hapa ni kwa ajili yake we are here because of him kama huju ishara ya kwanza ndio hii that is one sign Nyinyi hamungekaa hapa. You wouldn't sit all of you here. hapa kwa ajili ya Yesu. We are seated all of us here because of Jesus. Na Yesu huyo and that Jesus hawezi kuacha. Cannot forsake you. Mkae katika shida. To be in problem. Hata uko hapa unasikia. In fact when you are here in field. Katika mkutano huu. That inside this crusade. Kuna kuombewa. There is to be prayed for. Kupona, there is to be healed. There is to be blessed. Kufaulu, there is success. Kila jambo, everything. Mungu yuko tayari kukupa. God is ready to give you. Lakini wengi, but many people wameangamiza matumaini. Many people have lost hope. Wameangamiza. Many people have lost hope. Hata hawaamini. They don't believe again. Hata naona haiwezekani. He sees that it's not possible. It is possible. It is possible and it is possible at all times. It's because of lacking hope. It's because of lacking hope. Lakini Mungu yuko tayari. But God is very much ready. Mungu yuko tayari. God is very much ready. Wewe angalia. You look here. Vile Mungu anavyotuwazia. The way God is thinking about us. Wewe hujui saa hii. You don't know at this time. Mwaka ujao. Next year. Utakuwa na magari mangapi? How many cars you'll have? Utakuwa na mashamba mangapi? How many farms you'll have? utakuwa na maisha mazuri kiasi gani then what type of good life you'll have maybe kwa sababu Mungu anasema and because God is saying mimi i na wawazia mazuri i'm thinking good of you mabaya yanatoka wapi then why is this where is this coming from? From? why is the poverty coming from bona huna tumaini then why don't you have the hope chukueni tumaini mioni mwenu you take the hope in your life hata ukaona matatizo even if you see some hapo 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 you just continue dwelling there Mwambie Mungu tunisamehe. You just tell God forgive me. Kumbe wewe unaniwazia mazuri. You are thinking good of me. Na mimi nina mawazo mabaya. And I have bad thoughts. Kuna watu there are people hata tumaini la kuishi kuishi hana. Even that hope of living is no longer there. Ya naona kifo tu. You are seeing death always. Ni kufanya mahesabu. Just making some calculations. Oh, I have 70 years that's, that's all. Oh, the hope of living there is no longer there. I have a brother-in-law who is sick. Then he was told 
Utakuja uombe wewe. Okay, preachers that Sema, coming to pray for you. Bure. Then he said, "No, don't disturb yourself." Mimi ni aje tu. You just leave me. Maana naenda kale mimi. Because I'm already going. Hai. Okay. Hana matumbai. He has no hope. Na Mungu anatutakia kutuponya and God wants to heal us na kutubariki and to bless us. Zekie, Hezekia akawa mgonjwa. Was very much sick. Karibu kufa to the extent of death. Mungu akatuma mhubiri. Then God sent a preacher. Maana anatoa sio mazuri because he's thinking good of us. Naenda kwa Zekie. Go to Hezekia. Mungu amwambie bwana anasema hivi. And tell him the Lord is saying this. Tengeneza mambo ya nyumba yako. You are the affairs of your house. Mgonjwa leo nao utakufa. And the disease you have is to death. Haya nenda. Okay go. Mhubiri akaenda. So the preacher went. Kwa Zekie. To Hezekia. Kufika mziana analalamika pale. When he reached there the old man was there crying. Akamwambia unajua? Then he told him do you know? Nina habari njema hapa. I have some good news for you. Tengeneza mambo ya nyumba yako. You are in the affairs of your house. Utapona. You will be healed. Bila hivyo utaenda. Without that you will go. Mhubiri huyo akaondoka. And then the preacher went away. Amesungumza lile ambalo ametumwa na Mungu. He had spoken the word he had been sent by God. Amen. Amen. Haya kidogo okay a little while Hezekia kageuka ukutani Hezekia turned to the wall Iliyo sema ni kweli Surely what has been said Mungu is true Oh Lord save me Unisamehe You forgive me Mhubiri anaenda The preacher was going Mungu akaangalia Hezekia Then God the Lord looked at Hezekia He has accepted Haya wewe okay. mhubiri rudi tena huko Okay the preacher now go back again Haya umwambie hivi And tell him this Nimeona machozi yake I've seen your tears eh? Yeah Haya sasa now mwambie nimemponya you tell him i have healed him tena nimeongeza tena miaka 10 na mitano and again i have added to him unaona mwenye kutuwa si amema huyo you think god who thinks good of us anaongeza miaka he's adding years yeye anataka muongeze miaka do you want years added miaka ya kubarikiwa years of blessings miaka ya kubarikiwa years of blessings akaambiwa he was told nimekuongeza i have added to you nimekuongeza i have added to you hebu tusome isaya let us read the book of isaya hata hili sikutuma yani sikuja nalo i didn't have this ni mungu mwenyewe tu ananiambia ana kunena it is god himself is giving me what to say si mipango ya akili zangu it is not the idea or the plan of my mind isaya 38 mstari wa kwanza Isaiah chapter 38 verse 1 Hili neno linatoka kwa Mungu This word comes from God Siku hizo Hezekia aliugua akawa katika hatari ya kufa na Isaya nabii mwana wa Amozi akaenda kwa mfalme akamwambia Bwana asema hivi Tengeneza mambo ya nyumba yako maana utakufa wala hutapona endelea go ahead basi hezekia akajigeuza akaelekeza uso wake ukutani akamwomba bwana akasema e bwana kumbuka haya na kusihi kwamba nimekwenda nime mbele zako katika kweli na kwa moyo mkamilifu na kutenda yaliyo mema machoni pako Hezekia akalia sana sana ikawa neno la Bwana e, likamjia Isaya kusema enenda ukamwambie Hezekia Bwana Mungu wa Daudi baba yako amesema hivi mimi nimekusikia maombi yako nimeyaona machozi yako tazama Nita, nitazio ngeza siku zako kiasi cha miaka kumi na mitano amen amen in those days was hezekia sick unto death and isaiah the prophet the son of amos came unto him and said and said unto him thus said the lord set thine house in order for thou shalt die and not live then hezekia turned his face towards the wall and prayed unto the lord and said Remember now O Lord I beseech thee now I have walked before thee in the truth and the perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight Hezekiah wept so then came the word of the Lord unto Isaiah saying go and say to Hezekiah thus said the Lord the God of David thy father 
I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thee days fifteen years. Amen. Amen. Sasa, now, kwa nini mungu anatuma eh, muhubiri? Why is God sending the preacher? Akafanye nini? To do what? Kwa sababu, because anatuwazia sisi sote mazuri. He is thinking good of all of us. Akamwambia nenda kwa sikie. Then he said go to Hezekiah. Tengeneza mambo ya nyumba. To amend the affairs of his house. Kuonyeshwa tunapendwa na Mungu. Showing that God is loving us. Wewe unatengeneza yapi? Are you amending your affairs? Jioni ya leo. Today evening. Tengeneza mambo ya nyumba yako. You amend the affairs of your si house. Sile nyumba ambayo umeacha nyumbani. It's not the house that you have left at home. Nyumba moyo wako. The, ha the house is your heart. Roho yako your soul Useme mbele za Mungu and say before God Mimi nimekata shauri that I have decided Mungu nisaidie Oh God help me tena Mungu niokoe and again God save me Nimekuwa mtu asiye na matumaini siku nyingi I've been a person of no having no hope for anything Hata naona sina mtu wa kuniponya and in fact I've, I've seen sina that I have no one to heal me no one to can save me Umwambie Bwana niokoe you tell the Lord save me Kumbe tunawaziwa mazuri. Uh, yeah, God is thinking good of us. Zekia hakujua hilo. Hezekia never knew this. Muhubiri akatumwa. So the preacher was Kama alivyotumwa leo jioni. Like the way he sent to the evening. Akamwambia tengeneza mambo ya nyumba yako. And told him to amend the affairs of his house. Hata wewe jioni ya leo tengeneze. And you also today evening you amend. Zile baraka zilizotafuta utakutana nazo. The blessings that you are looking for you are going to meet them. Ile miaka tena tutaongezwa. And again the years will be added to us. Zile baraka tena tutaongezwa and again the blessings will be added to us Kila kitu kitaongezwa and everything will be added to us Lakini tujue tu Mungu anatuwazia mazuri but, but the thing you have to know is that God sisa, is speaking good of us sisa, But when we don't know this Tunaenda murugani we go to suit say Haya Abwa wewe umeroba Okay you are told someone is being cheated yako yenyewe si mazuri Because you are thinking self is not good Ukiona mtu mmoja umekundwa anasema huyu If you see a man with a red eye you say this ni champion wa uchawi huyu This one is think is a champion of witchcraft Hakuna mchawi There is no witchcraft Yeye mchawi ukimwambia tu kuna mtu kula anataka kuroba haendi If the, you've tell the wizard that is someone who wants to be with you then you want to anasema ni mchawi The one you're saying is a witch Wewe pale pole anasema kuna mtu mbale anasema anataka kuroba you go to him and tell him there is someone there who wants to be witched. He'll tell you go away from me. Because he knows that guy who is calling for people to come and be him, is not Maybe he has more witchcraft oh, than here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is so wonderful. God is so wonderful. Okay, when if you are murmuring God and maybe hating God, you tell him today evening, forgive me. Some have blamed God. Why am I not married? And God, why have you given me such a husband? You have no hope that this one come to an end. This will all come to an end. Jesus said this. Everything has come to an end. Everything has come to an end. Come to an end. At the cross. It was announced that everything has come to an end. Mungu ananiambia rudi hapo hapo. So God is telling me go back to that again. Anasema, he is saying, you don't know. Mimi na wawasi ya I am thinking good of, of you. Sasa na siku Beginning today and the Kwa days to come. Hivyo hivyo so my brother, you should know Mimi this. Huku na kule. You have come from different areas. Mungu hapa. You are here. Juwe ni mungu na wawasi ya mazuri. You should know that God is thinking good of you. Si mabaya. It's not bad. Uh -uh. No. We are staying in badness because of our th bad thinking. Unaenda safari yako? You are going on a journey. Mungu huu ukipiga chini, if you stumble the right leg. Hata kama umechubuka huna neno anasema nitakutana baraka huko. Even if you are injured, you say there's no problem because I'll meet some blessings. Lakini kuna mmoja ukipiga chini huo, but if you stumble the other leg. Hata unageuka unarudi unasema safari itakuwa ya kesho. You turn and go back and say I'll travel tomorrow. Kinacho kurudisha nyumbani si kitu kingine. What is taking you back home is nothing else. Ni mawazo mabaya. It is because of your bad thinking. Na Mungu anatuwasia mazuri. And God is thinking good of Hati us. Hatunamwambia Mungu na rogwa. So you are telling God you are bewitched. Mungu anakuambia una mazuri kuanzia sasa. God is saying there is goodness kesho, from now and tomorrow. Na siku zinazokuja. And also the days to come. 
Kuna mzee mmoja hapa. There is one old man here. Hii mvua ilikuwa ikinyesha ni kama inamuonea. When the rain was raining it was like he's being deprived. Ikinyesha maji yote inaenda ndani ya nyumba yake. Yeah. If it rains all that water flows to his house. Vipa inaelea hapo. Na mwenyewe yuko humo. His balls are there floating and he's inside the house. Yuko humo. He's there inside the house. Uzuri. One good thing. Akurudi nyuma. He never backslid. Leo mvua inanyesha anafanya kuangalia na dirishani. And today it's raining he just looks <laughs> through the window. This is so wonderful. Looking through the window. And the house itself is not permanent. It's not semi-permanent, but the permanent house. This is not. I want him to stand up a little bit. Yeah, he's here. You sit down. Jamen. My dear. Musikate tama. Do not faint. Musikate tama. Don't faint. Musikate tama. Do not faint. Basababu Mungu anasema Because God is saying, Mimi na wawasia mimi Mungu. I as God I am thinking good of you. Na wawasia mazuri. I am thinking good of you. Kwa sasa hivi beginning now na siku sijazo. And even the days to come. Kwa hivyo hata kama huna kazi. So even if you have no employment. Sahi huna kazi. At this time you have no employment. Na unataka kazi. And you want employment. Musikate tama. Do not despair. Don't despair. You have no child. You have not got a child. You are despaired. Mungu anakuambia and God is saying you Mimi hapa nilipo where I am now ninawaza vile utakavyozaa I'm thinking about your birth. Aya ukitoka mkutano huu Okay from this crusade Tarajia 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 Expect and expect and expect <laughs> Tarajia you expect Utakuja uone ah you are coming to see Okay I was told I get a Mana chance yes, hata leo. Because it's there even Lakin now But people have fainted Haya musikate tama. Okay now don't faint Simameni imara, You stand very firm Mukiamini kwamba Believing that Alio yasema Mungu atayatimiza Whatever God said is going to fulfill <coughs> Je Mungu tayari Then are you ready Hebu tupe wimbo. You give us a song. Nitamwimbia Bwana kwa kuwa ye ameniona. Nitamwimbia Bwana Yesu kwa kuwa ye ameniona. Oh nitamwimbia Bwana kwa kuwa ye ameniona. Nita nitamwimbia Bwana Yesu kwa kuwa putting yourself ready kila mmoja every one of us kwa kinywa chako mwenyewe by your own mouth umwambie mungu and tell the god unisamehe you forgive me siku ana matumaini i never had this hope ninayoyaona mimi ni mashaka 
Whatever I'm seeing is all persecution. Ninayo yaona mimi ni matatizo. I'm seeing complications. Ninayo yaona ni umasikini. I'm seeing poverty. Umwambie Mungu. You tell God. Nimekosa matumaini. I have lost hope. Kumbe wewe unaniwazia mema. And yet God you are thinking good Umambie of me. Umwambie Mungu nisamehe. You tell God forgive me. Omba. You pray. Ukijua knowing that. Aliyezungumza neno hili. The one who spoke this word ni Mungu. Is God. Aliyezungumza neno hili ni Mungu. The one who spoke this word is God. Kubadilisha. And he wants to change. Maisha yako. You are life. Maisha yako. You are life. Ambayo inakutatiza. Which is giving you yes, complication. Jesus Christ is very Baba much ready. Mungu nakushukuru. Jioni ya leo umetuleta pamoja. Ukiwa una lengo na kusudi kwetu sisi wanadamu kwa sababu natuona tu watu wa kukata tamaa. Baba ninakushukuru. Kwa huo ujumbe ambao umetuma kwetu jioni ya leo. Nina hakika bwana, waenda kubadilisha maisha ya kila mmoja, waenda kutenda jambo jipya katika mioyo yetu. Mungu baba ni asante baba. Na kuomba utie moyoni mwetu neno hili tuwe na matumaini. Bwana Yesu nashukuru yule dada na yule ndugu na yule kijana. Tayari bwana umezungumza na maisha yake. Na tayari uko tayari bwana kubadilisha yale yaliyoko Mungu baba ni asante na hakika watu wako waenda kuwatoa katika utumwa ndugu zangu my brothers ndugu zangu my brothers hili neno limetoka kwa Mungu this word has come from god Mungu anatuwazia mema god is thinking good of us na wewe umejaa mawazo mabaya and you are filled with evil thinking Marita alikuwa na mawazo mazuri Martha had some good thinking akasema kama bwana Yesu angekuweko and said if Jesus was here ndugu yangu hangelikufa my brother wouldn't have hivyo ni kuonyesha mambo mengi yanakufa that shows that many things are dying maana Yesu hayuko pale because Jesus is not maana there maana huna matumaini because you have no hope mulilie ni Mungu Masekie. Now cry to God like Hebu Hezekiah. Hebu tumuombe Mungu sote. Let us all pray to God. Hebu sote tumuombe Mungu. Let us all pray to God. Oh Mungu baba na sikuru. Mungu baba ni na kuomba. Oh Yesu mwana wa Mungu ni mcha. Oh Yesu wewe Mungu ni juba. Kuza mfano. Kutu kuza mfano. Kutu kuza mfano. Kutu kuza mfano. Eh mwana Yesu mfano.